of Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. Game two of Mountain West action for Fresno State is in the books. The Dogs welcome the tough Wyoming Cowboys tonight. Last year was a defensive battle in Laramie where Fresno State won by 6, 13 to 7. Would it be another close game? Out to Bulldog Stadium we go where the Dogs are hoping to open up conference play 2-0. The Cowboys still on the hunt for their first Mountain West win this season. The Pokes would get on the board first with a field goal to go up 3-zip, but the Dogs answer back. Marcus McMarion over the middle to Jared Rice for the score. They missed the PAT, so it's 6-3 Fresno State. Second quarter, McMarion rolls out, finds Cam Sutton, who shows off his hops. Take a look, flies towards the end zone. He'd come up just short, but that's all right. On fourth and goal, McMarion is able to punch it in, and it's 13 3 Fresno State. Third quarter, McMarion is going to roll out, pump fakes, and hits David Tongapa in the end zone, and it's 20 3. But with under four minutes to play in the third, McMarion doing what he does best, using his legs, fakes the defense, takes it in himself for six. That caps off a six-play, 85-yard drive. But how about Fresno State's D? They hold Wyoming to just 221 yards of total offense. Here's Mike Bell with an interception. The Bulldogs keep their opponent out of the end zone for two straight weeks. They take it 27-3. Sports Central's Andrew Martin joins us now from Bulldog Stadium. Andrew, what a game. Yeah, Julia, good win for Fresno State. The Bulldogs now improved to 5 and 1 overall, 2 and 0 in conference before they head to Albuquerque to take on New Mexico next week. And by the way, the Lobos lost to your Rams. You went to CSU and CSU beat New Mexico tonight 20 to 18 the final score. But this Fresno State team is finding ways to win. You were in Reno last week, Julia. You saw how Fresno State had to grind out that win over Nevada for a while tonight. It seemed like this game was going to follow a similar path, but the offense exploded late in the second quarter and into the second half. Marcus McMarion had four total touchdowns, the two he threw to tight ends. And then, of course, he ran for two. He had 340 total yards. It all added up to a 27-3 win for the Bulldogs. Here's Coach Tedford afterwards. They did a nice job. You know, I'm, we had to stop the run, and I thought they did a really good job of that. Um, I thought we had them pinned. Field position was in our favor all night, which, again, Blake Cusick putting them down deep kind of put some put some behind schedule a little bit, you know, but I thought guys ran hard, tackled well. Coach Tedford pleased with his team's effort tonight. The run game much better tonight than last week when the Bulldogs only amassed 30 yards on 24 carries. Tonight, they were over 100, 104 yards. And one more stat for you, Jared Rice. You showed his touchdown. He had seven catches, a career high for 94 yards and that score. We're live tonight at Bulldog Stadium. I'm Andrew Martin for Sports Central. Julia, back to you. All right, great work out there, Andrew. Thank you. Game two of the NLCS, Brewers hosting the Dodgers. Milwaukee took game one, L.A. trying to even it out in the best of seven. Top eight, Dodgers trailing by one. Justin Turner at the plate with a runner on, and that is a go-ahead jack. A two-run blast to put them up 4-3. The Brewers with a chance to walk it off. Kenley Jansen against Christian Yelich. One on, two out. Yelich hits it to Turner, and he makes a routine play. Dodgers hold on and win 4-3, and the series is tied at one. They'll head to L.A. For three games beginning on Monday. And on the other side, the Houston Astros steal one on the road in Boston in game one of the ALCS. The Red Sox fall 7 to 2, and I know you are a Boston fan. I, I am. Much bigger Bulldog fan, of course. Boy, the dogs look absolutely great. It's good to see them back on top once again. Julia, Definitely. thanks. Coming up here on Eyewitness News at 11, the California Teddy Bear.